experience with my boyfriend Daniel. Hello. Dan, as seen in episode 3, 4, and the first appearance of the Silver Sable. I'm not sure what that indicates. It's okay, just go with it. So today is our three year anniversary. What up? Boom! We just thought it would be really fun for you to get to know us. And then for the new year, it's gonna be a lot of relationship y videos. Cause that's what we're good at. We are going to do a little bit of a fun activity. We're gonna do a newlyweds game. Not that we're newlyweds. You ready? <laughs> so let's do it. scoreboard so this is the this is the the relationship game yes so we're gonna do a series of questions how do the rules work we have 15 questions you're gonna ask some questions and then we will both write down our answers most of the time it's going to be me guessing what you would say or you guessing what I would say right but sometimes there's like some special questions yeah. where we both answer yeah we're gonna explain it as we go along what? I feel like this isn't fair because she knows all the questions and I don't. Um, I picked questions that our viewers would want to, so they will be able to get to know you mm -hmm. and to get to know us. Yeah. And then I picked questions that I want to put you on the spot because it's our anniversary. There it is, folks. Question number one. What physical feature of your partners do you like best? Dan goes first. So you, you have to guess you have to say what physical feature you like of mine, and I have to guess what feature you're picking. How many things are you writing? I don't have enough paper to write all the things I like about you. So I said, my eyes. Oh, very close, very close. I think you like my eyes. The brain. The brain is not a physical feature. Is your brain not a physical feature? Do you think I would really guess the brain? No, I thought it was going to be hilarious. You're... This game is not going... It's going great. Um, Dan plus Stacy, same team. I don't know why you thought there was two different teams. I must be like, who knows each other, who knows that person better? Okay, so, we're guessing what I would think, so yeah, you get no point. But really, there's only one team. So, again, what physical feature of yours do Ooh, I like this best? Is a t this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I said... The arms. <laughs> Your arms? You probably said dimples, I'm guessing. You're... Okay. Oh, you would've you. got that, but you said something cocky about yourself. <laughs> like, I did draw a picture. <laughs> so silly. I love enjoying this. This, like, right. this is a great time. Next question. <laughs> yeah. If you could describe your partner in one word, what word would that be? Well, this is challenging, okay. This is so challenging. Oh, I got this. Are you like trying to design? I was sorry, the last time I listened to how many like the words you wrote, how many letters you wrote. I think I counted seven. Eight. Well, that's not what I thought it was gonna be. Brave isn't eight. <laughs> it's not freaking Batman is only six. <laughs> I don't necessarily think this, but it's like it's eight <laughs> letters and it's the only eight letter word I can think. Don't oh, look! You're don't so look. cute! Don't look. I thought she wrote. I'm the smartest. I wrote Charry. Oh! Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna pick a word for you. What are you doing? Are you making faces? No! How do I. How do I. How do I reduce what Stacy Russell is into one word? It's difficult. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, but amazing. Like, I can be amazed at like how silly something. You know, like I am amazed at how badly you parked your car. Amazing isn't necessarily. It doesn't capture the goodness that is there. You know what I'm you saying? You gotta capture the saying? goodness. You gotta capture the goodness. You reveal first, right? I wrote lovable. Oh, I put dreamer down. Dreamer. That's sweet. Isn't that nice? Nobody gets a point though. No. Okay. On a roll. Zero, zero. Alright, yeah, next no. question. You ready? I'm ready. Got this, girl. Alright. <laughs> Which character on Friends would you say your partner is most like? Daniel goes first. The soup Nazi. That's Seinfeld. Is it though? Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Oh man! I wrote Monica, and I thought it was because <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm like Monica, and I was going to write Phoebe for myself, thinking that you would be so wrong. So do I get a point? You guess that I would be wrong? Poor shame. We are a terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> We got this. We got this! Our 
Lord. Stacy, please reveal your answer. You are hilarious and sweet like Chandler. I also said Chandler. Yeah! I got a point. You get a point, I think. Yeah, you do. You First guess. point on the board's mine! Next question. If your partner had a superhero power, what would it be? Stacy goes first. So both answer. And if you watched my videos, you know Dan is a huge Batman fan. Sure, but he doesn't have any Superman. Oh yeah, he does. Oh, I like what you said there. Okay. okay. Your superpower would be... Justice is his superpower. <clears throat> Super witty. Super witty. That's not- How is justice a superpower? Because that's what you would so say. Now you have to guess what my superpower would be. Oh, you're writing a lot of things. You can't listen to all the things. So are we talking the like classic superpowers? Or is that like a brand new made up one for you? Is it like a basic power? Or a basic? Well, there's the basic ones. There's durability, there's invisibility, power of flight, super speed, super strength. I'm asking for a hint. It's pretty- It's an X-Men power. Or X-Men? I already know this is wrong. I said the ability to read minds. Oh, I already have that ability. Shape-shifting, like Mystique. Mm. I could be Gwen's funny for a day. Sounds like a downgrade to me. <laughs> Which of you is smarter? Daniel goes first. Pass. Whatever, you can't pass this uh, one. I already passed. Let's just rock, paper, scissors to see who's smarter. Let's just do that. Ready? <laughs> Sorry. Do you get a point then? Is oh, that yeah, like I a get point? a point. <laughs> yes, guys. Who usually gets their way? This is a hard one. I'm like trying to think of like scenarios. It's not a hard one. Stacy. Me. For sure. <laughs> how did you decide that? I like how you like you're wondering about. We let you see. Let. I like that. I like that. That's how you know it's your way. It's not that the we do your thing. You're like you let me. I Did you just get, see it? That should not be a point for you. Uh, next question, please. Seven. How did you meet each other? Dan goes first. Question seven. So, I was down in Tijuana, alright? I was going to see a special show about a special lady. And she came on stage, she was wearing a red dress, and she just danced her feet off. It was just like. Love at first sight. We. I think we get that one. I just wrote landmark really big. Just landmark, like the Statue of Liberty was like, hey Dan, have no. you met my friend Stacy? Here's a tip. Meet a girl in a personal development course. She's on the right path. Intermission kiss. Are you gonna Are we just gonna cheek gonna, together? We're just gonna cheek to cheek. Oh, uh, get me some foundation. Not blended. Number eight. When and where did you first kiss? Stacy goes first. You don't know the answer of this. Dan will say outside of Barbara's house on the sidewalk, but the real answer is in my bedroom. Both are incorrect, folks, and I know Stacy forgot this. Whatever. Boosh, in her car post nacho. Whatever. Nobody gets points. Oh, I get a See, point. See, you, don't, you point. don't get a point. I should. <laughs> I should get a point. Such a goop. Question number nine Who is the better cook? There's a little egg on the skillet there. I like it. Daniel, teacher, stays in your apprentice. That one's an easy one, but I'm gonna take the easy point. Rack it up there. I didn't like to cook before I met Dan. I just decided that he would be the cooker and I would be the cleaner, but he's now teaching me how to cook and I think I'm a pretty good cook. I'm good, yeah. You made some killer... Uh, lamb shoulder? Well, lamb shoulder, sure, but I was going to say the... I like how you choose your own praise. You're like, ooh, you're gonna praise me for this now. Dan, <laughs> you're winning right now. I'm uh, pulling ahead. Neither of us are winning, though. We're not getting these answers right. Oh, one of us is winning. Is it me? Oh. What is your most annoying habit that your partner really dislikes? I don't dislike much about you. There's like a super <coughs> obvious one that I do that you hate. That you hate. You get so mad when I do it. Oh! I don't get mad. 
Okay, I think it's... <laughs> oh wait, the cooking thing. What did cooking I get a, thing? Did I get a point for cooking? Yeah, I gave you that all point. Alright, alright, go ahead, go ahead. You guessing is... Interrupting. That is interrupting. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sorry Stacey, let me just... So I get that point. Yeah. And now we're gonna do the same for you. Tie it up the beast. And so I you, got this. You have so many beasts with my behavior, there's too many. I know, but there's this one. You're writing too much. Socks on the ground, in brackets, oh, messy. That one's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I did the wrong one for this. I thought this was a different question. Do you want to... Well, you read the question and wrote the questions. I know. I wrote the wrong thing. What were you going to say to this? What would the answer to this be authentically? That one. You're like, I always try to put my socks in the laundry hamper for you. And then I find them never in there. It's a mind game. But it's really sweet that you want to. There you go. Give me a point. <laughs> and should I just save this one for after? Save it. Save it for after. Point. Get that point on the board. Don't I will let you have a point for this one. Let me have a point? No, well, I agree. Like, that would be it. I don't know if this is cheating, but... It's not. Well, you, you're you cheating. You're like, answering different cheating. questions, right? I just thought... <laughs> oh, see, this is the one that I thought it was. What is the one thing that your partner does for you that they hate? but does because you love it. I don't even have to... So well, I'm writing what you do? What is one thing that I do for you that you don't like? Wait, what is one... I guessed cuddling slash a snoogling. That's what I love! She's learning to love it, folks, let me tell you. I really like hugging. But cuddling is like... Hugging is like... you just want to sit on my own. Sure, and sometimes I want you really far away from me. No, I'm you really, never do. Really oh. Oh. I got a point! Wait, no, I guessed. I get a point. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to take those points. Now you get to guess the same, and there's your chance to get a point. Okay. So I'm gonna go back. So what's the thing that I do that I don't love, but I do it for you? Oh. You do not have to play game with you on design. I know. Can you give me a hint? Um, it's like something that I've been like really asking you to do, and you've been on top of it so much lately. High-fiving strangers. You high-five every stranger and you love it. I do. I really do. <laughs> it's probably this. <laughs> this. It's probably this. It's probably this. Uh, what did you guess, Stace? I wrote, he cleans the kitchen in the morning for me. Ooh, I put cleans and puts away clothes. I don't know if that's a point. Those are the, those are the two things for there, sure. You can have, you can have a point. Hey. All right, number 12. How do you know your partner's in the mood for making love? This is uncomfortable. And inappropriate. Number 13. An uncomfortable question. All right. Where did you go on your first date? My place, dinner plus fireside talks. You think it was your, our first official date? That was, it was just you and me? We were just friends, you know. You came to my place for dinner, solo. That I was single. That's a date. I didn't consider that a date. That, that was definitely a date. It wasn't a date because you were sitting like Burt Reynolds on a rug? No, that's why it's hilarious. We're all calling con. That you were you think that was our first date? This is the first date. I know for next time. It's it's tough. It's tough to tell because we had a lot of hangouts. But lit ladies, you don't ever go to a gentleman's house for dinner. <laughs> You do if you think they're your buddy. Number 13. If your partner could choose one thing to get rid of, what would they choose? That is so generic. What do you mean? Like osteoporosis in the world? Get out of here, osteoporosis. Okay, I guessed. Socks. I get that. This is this is smart. You get that I guessed it. Just try to cheat, guys. We'll see if I get that point back. We'll just okay, leave just it leave for it now. so we don't have to mess up the sheet. Yeah, I love it. Let's keep going. Okay. So you're gonna guess what it, uh, what you need to get rid of? You love throwing things out. Like, what would you need to get rid of? You throw things out like 
for a good time. Sushi, my cat. Oh, that's funny. I thought about writing it as a joke. I never really want you to get rid of sushi so you don't have to worry. But because I said, butt plug collection, 100 plus butt plugs. What is wrong with you? We skipped that one glass. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a, we can cut it. Let's do it again. <laughs> You were gonna write sushi? Oh, no, like I only use a joke, but not really. I think I get a point for that. No. Okay, let's do it again. Like it was the first time. <clears throat> Alright, so Stacy, what did you guess? Butt plug collection. Alright, back to one. <laughs> sushi, because she's annoying to you. See, that's funny. I was gonna write that as a joke, but I never want to get rid of your cat. Maybe the bad light fixtures in the house. Bad light fixtures. Next question. How does your partner behave to get out of trouble? Ooh. Yeah, you're gonna guess what I do? Oh, I know. <laughs> this is a complex story you're writing. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You go first, remember? I'll be like, Stace, I did this and I did this and I did this. And just letting you know, I'm gonna do this, and it's like the bad thing at the end, like almost like a compliment sandwich. Ooh, or like that one's like a com it's like a compliment meal with like the dessert is bad news. I wrote make jokes. Hey, that's kind of true, right? Well, the whole you're so pretty and everybody likes you and everyone's your friend and you're the coolest. Hey, come on, I get that point. You want this one? I right. totally get that point. Right. Point for Stace. Yeah. Okay, last. Last question. Final question. What about your partner made you realize that they were the one? You started fighting the agent and like keeping him back with your ninja moves. You're like block him, and I was like, I, knew you were I was like, I was like Neo or Stacy is the one. Stacy is the one. Fight rabbit. Renegades. A funk. From a secret solo system, many many galaxies away. For me. We had a great chemistry from the very, very start, from the very first moment. You're somebody who I admire and has really good qualities of kindness. You're very conscious of yourself and where you're going, and I love that. And I think that you are somebody who is willing to get somebody else and listen. It's hard to say. It's not like you did something like, it's like, it's like you made me that sandwich and then I knew it. I think probably because the chemistry is so good. We had great chemistry, that's right. Shoot, we should have done this as a question because I would say the same thing. We were in business together for a while and even then we had really good chemistry. And there was no funny business, no just great chemistry. Good chemistry. Like, really laughing together, being able to be ourselves in front of one another. Yeah. Because we get caught in our own heads a lot. It's true, I think, of anyone, but it's really, I think it's cool that we pay attention to each other. And you're just so fun. Like, I could just really be myself in front of you. I could be weird and. You make me better, and you've been so patient, and happy anniversary, Dan. Happy anniversary, baby. Okay, so who won? Down in the comments below, just put who you think won, and you know, whatever whatever sort of uh, qualities, whatever you think the conditions of victory are, put it down. Team Dan, Team Stacy, or if you think it was a, t a, a tie, Team Dancy. Keep an eye on the channel, I think we're gonna do some videos together. It's gonna be f we're gonna keep it fun and uh, go on some adventures with us. Little cat spray. Don't mess with the camera, kitty. 30th video complete. It took me a whole year, but I am done 30 videos. Good job. So it's a, a double celebration today. 30 videos, three years, and uh, now we're gonna go get a couple's massage. Yeah, let's continue our anniversary. And uh, remember, it's a secret. So about question number 12. How do you know I'm in the mood? I can tell because we've just had some burritos and your face is getting a little bit red. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs>